What's up, YouTubers? It's that time again to do it with Hewitt. And I'm back with another episode of my pursuit of the 600 pound deadlift. Like I talked about in my last video, my friend, the strength coach, Craig Bongelli, has put together this deadlift program that I'm now currently following. And it includes sumo deadlifts and deadlifts from a deficit. Those are two deadlift variations which I've very rarely done on my own in the past. So I'm very curious to see what kind of a training effect I'll get out of them while following this program. For the sumo deadlift, you want to take a fairly wide stance. You want your feet wider than your hand position. And your toes will be pointed out more than with the conventional deadlift. Uh, you do want to keep your knees pointed out or tracking over top of your feet as well. So avoid letting your knees fall in during the pull. Um, you're going to be slightly more upright ideally during the sumo deadlift and it'll involve a lot more hips and thighs uh, as comp compared with the conventional. Uh, I did find this uh, pretty awkward and a lot of uh, uh, strain on my inner thigh and hips but uh, getting better at it. With the deficit deadlift I was working from a three inch deficit uh, so a couple plates did the trick uh, under each foot. Um, because you're pulling from a much lower position there will be a little bit more rounding in the back but I've found this quite helpful in my, uh, my pull off the floor. I'm getting a lot more power on the regular deadlift from the floor uh, since I've been working on the deficit. So um, I wouldn't start with a very big deficit uh, initially if you're starting to work with this. You know, work from two or three inches, maybe a four at the most, uh, and, and see how that goes. It's going to make quite a difference. With both of these deadlift variations, remember to keep the bar close to your legs on the pull. And if you're not used to the technique, start with a lighter weight initially, uh, which I had to do, but it is coming back pretty quickly. After every deadlift workout, I do some direct core work, uh, such as the standing ab wheel rollouts. Uh, still bouncing a little bit off my knees at the bottom here, but my technique is improving and my strength is improving. I really like these, um, as well as the uh, power wheel pikes with the, the wheel uh, on your feet. So I'll be posting another video update soon when I hit my new max deadlift, but until then, stay strong. Okay, so what I'm asking Craig to do is just take care of my whole lower body program. So I'm gonna do my own upper body things. I have some other goals with that. Uh, you're going to put together a full plan focused specifically on getting a big deadlift. 100%. Cool. 